Hey, hey, this is Rob, Ooh, and this is another episode of The Rise of Insanity. Um, I got, had a bad headache, um, so I had to quit early in the last episode, but I'm back the next day, and I also, if you can't notice, <laughs> there's a green screen in the corner. I'm trying that out, hair's still flickering, I can't optimize it the way I'm wanting to. It looks like I'm going to have to get back to where we were. But, let me know if you'd like the green screen. Uh, if you have any suggestions on how to, uh, you know, make it look better, I'd appreciate it. So we already went through this, so we'll be back in a jiffy. Alright, we're at the park where we saw, remember in the last episode we saw the code, I can't remember exactly what it was. But I remember six was in it. Okay, so none of those worked. Uh, I'm going to have to go back upstairs or up down, I bet, I bet it's upstairs. But, uh, so we'll be right back. Oh, that wasn't there before. <laughs> ah, so I remember a six was in it, but a six two nine is the code. So we're going to have to go back up. That's kind of annoying. Developers having to go back. I mean, I don't know. That's a little annoying. Uh, there's, especially some people might not have, uh, you know, thought to come back and look there. So it's kind of I don't like hidden stuff like that. You know what I mean? body is unhappy I'm here, but, uh, you want to jump out, probably, okay, so I can't actually read this without doing this, don't match, ooh, okay, oh, it's so dark over there. Alright, what would you want? Why, it's really dark. Oh, another... <laughs> I'm behind, they had to tell me. <laughs> they had to tell me it was behind me. Sorry about my freaking chair. Sorry. So that was pretty creepy. Um, we're not in a morgue anymore. But that's that's pretty good. What for some I'm surprised I didn't jump more to be honest, but really good scene. Good uh is that a crow?
starting to get a little, not too bad, not like this, but I am kind of getting motion sickness again. It's loading. Oh, God. I don't know what the story is. You know, I don't, I guess we're in morgues and stuff, but, uh, I'm not sure what, what we're doing. You know, we're going to keep moving forward. Like Walt Disney used to say. Which reminds me when it's been in the ink machine three coming out. <laughs> it's been forever, hasn't it? Um you know, I hate having to do that, but it's just I wish there was a way to Wow, it's dark. I wish there's a way to uh, to move your head in a way to where you can move your body moving forward, you know? Or if you had to use a thumbstick, it moved smoother, not just, you know, instantly went that way. But, you know, it just, I don't know. But, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with your head. Motion tracking is really freaking cool, I must say. But I went right. I knew there was another direction. But I decided to go right. I see movement. Oh, my God. I knew I saw him moving. There's someone shoveling over there. Why am I walking like an 85 year old man? Still working, apparently. I'm gonna center it real quick. So, you hear the noise. Hey! You shouldn't be there. I gotta say, <laughs> uh, that's a cheesy voice. I know a lot of indie developers like to use that, uh, you know, that vocal enhancement where it's lower, but it kind of sounds dumb. Just, just point of it. Just my opinion. Others might have a different opinion. Here's a key. And there's another rubber duck. Don't think there's anything else here. We got some Halloween style music going on. So I shouldn't be here, apparently. Uh... So we're going to mosey on. Is there, is there seriously nothing else to do? Is that just a little jump scare in quotes? I hear a lot of crows. I guess, I guess crows have, I guess you can go this way. No, you can't. Okay. I gotta say, this does look like a little life. We're gonna go the other way. That was a choice. I think that was just collect the, uh, the rubber ducky, which is collectible. Uh, there's probably gonna be another jump scare going the way back, I'm sure. But this isn't bad for a first VR horror experience. I gotta say, I like these walking simulators are are really nice in a way that uh, you know, like they're not as stressful. They're they're scary, but they're not as stressful as say. Oh! Cheap jump scare. Told you. I called that, by the way. I called it. But they're not as, like I was saying, they're not as stressful as, say, like Outlast, Amnesia, FNAF, even Slenderman. Um, they just rely on the jump scares, basically. And horror atmosphere, which, in my opinion, is really good. They did an excellent job. I'm just not a fan of this jump scares, to be honest. But a lot of games have to do. And to add substance to this story, they really need to, I guess. We're going to this creepy house in this garden. Which I'm trying to center this. Thank you, that that was much help. I hate I hate kids. Creepy kids. Oh, so we would have had it when I forgot I got it. Yep, that's awesome. Daddy, play with me! Uh, I don't like children. I do not like ghost children. I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you. Here's something. Certificate of death. <laughs> okay. Uh, name of deceased. Theodore Dowell. Dowell. We've seen that name before. Age seven. 
sex male, so it's a child, so it's this child in here that's in the same vicinity of me. Place of death, family house, reason of death, strangulation. Now when I put this note down, I'm calling a jump scare. Okay, nothing happened so far. Daddy, why did yep. you allow him? What'd you say? Well, I don't know what you said, kid. Sunny boy. What else do I need to do? Huh? I'm gonna go towards the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. So I don't know what else to do, I'm afraid. I think I can pick something up over there. I'm gonna go back. I didn't see that jump scare, that last one, so sorry. There's a lot of why is there a giant chain? Uh developers, there's a little glitchy spot. It's like my hair in the screen screen. It's like it's flickering. Uh I mean it's not that big a deal, I'm just letting you know. If you happen to stumble on this video, where's that phone at? Is it in here? Oh, there's a random phone in the middle of the garden. Is that a phone? my nose. I want to try to get through this game in, a, in the second episode, so it might be a longer episode, I'm not sure. I heard it's only like 40 to, minutes to an hour. Okay, that reflection creeped me out. So, it's apparently going back to another scary spot. Okay. Theodore is a child very talented. He is a very calm, revealing the character of a dreamer. The only thing disturbs me is the shadow of a boy who often appears in his drawings. But it, it it's probably a character from a what? From a comic or something else. Not dangerous. Now I'll have to say a pet peeve of mine. In the last episode, we ran, ran across some misspellings and grammar issues. I don't understand how hard it is to, even if you're you know from a foreign country, to to just have someone check, you know, your writings or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's just a pet thing. I hate misspelling some stuff. So, is there, anyone, is there going to be any jump scares? No, is that a Five Nights at Freddy's? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, that just, sorry, I'm, I'm pretty critical of this episode. I apologize. Quick, please, thank you. Here's a shadow figure. Where are you gonna be at, Sonny? Toy guns. Don't want to be monetize this, even though I don't monetize my videos, YouTube. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm, I'm gonna check over here real quick. Nothing to open. Man, my glasses are really punctured my nose. Uh, okay, so we're in this house again. So apparently the, something happened to the boy. But why was I being haunted by a, a, a woman? So this is going to be... Yeah, that was pretty scary. I hate, uh, I like it when jump scares happen when you're not looking at it. Because it seems to make it, you know, more scary. Because you don't actually see anything. You can't go that way. You can go over here real quick. There's a light. No, that's not a light, that's a tape. Wow, that is dark. I'm not going in. I'm not going in there right now. Let's go back this way. Another note. Open it first. Dear Miss Dowell, I am very pleased that you like my floral composition. I received your comments and further recommendations. I will plant rhododendron. <laughs> I don't know what this word is. Rhododendrons, as has been recommended to me. I will have to drive my car in front of the greenhouse to move the seedlings. I hope you do not mind. shine in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Oh well, good, I, I, I'm happy. Oh shit. I'm not going in there. Uh, there's another or sheet music that saw in another episode. More sheet music. So I'm going to go in that closet first. It's probably going to be instant death. But I've got to see what's in there. 
Why is there no light? that we had a similar case in the past. It was the case of what you took part in. We are overworked. You could forget. I think that you should use these suggestions. Help your patient to finish the dream. Hypnosis can be too invasive. Try to ask him about his past. Accepting the traumatic happenings can be a good beginning to join himself. Looking forward to your reply. Greetings, they will. Now, I just now remembered that I think the boy has multiple personality disorder, which is real, by the way. I, it's, it's really creepy to hear about. I've never seen videos or anything. But that's kind of creepy. So maybe that chick was actually him. Yeah. That's really Really good idea, developers. Like a ghost, a, a person that dies with multiple personality disorder. And it's now a ghost. Really, but not really creative idea. I've never heard of anything like that. Um, that looks like it's on the ground. We'll try to pick it up. Oh, I've already picked that up. Okay. Okay, so, done pretty much everything we can here. Uh, this is going to be scary because I'm going to have to go to the scene. Trying to go upstairs. Look at that note again. So, 
You want up, down, and then both sides going in. That was crazy right there. <laughs> I'm kind of getting sick again. So we got to take one out of three and another seat. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it there. I know I said I was going to try to beat the game, but I am kind of in motion sickness. Um, I don't, you know, I, plus it's keeping the episode a little shorter. Uh, really cool game. Uh, Really impressed. Really good atmosphere. And it's really fun. Thank you, uh, thank you, Lost Wolf, for the game. I'll put his links in the description again. I did it in the last episode. Uh, good, really damn good, uh, Twitch streamer, so check him out. Um, but this was a really, really cool game. I'm interested in the story. Uh, I'm probably going to have to rewatch the episode, the first episode, to kind of remember what's going on. I don't remember what's coming out. But I'm impressed pretty game and it's got a good atmosphere. Lots of, uh, couple deep chunk, uh, <laughs> couple cheap jump scares, but some of them work pretty good. But until next time, I'm going to bid you farewell. See ya! <laughs>